Wasabi, you guys. I know how cool this looks, right? X squared plus X minus 1 squared. But don't let that distract you. Just express it and just simplify it, right? So we're going to go ahead and quickly do that, right? dx, we get x squared plus x squared minus 2x plus 1. And this whole thing's going to equal to like 2x squared minus 2x plus 1, right? And this might scare a lot of beginners, like what do we do? That's a 2x squared. How do I factor this? You can't, etc. Don't don't let that fool you. Okay. We're gonna divide everything by half. We're gonna take it easy. Okay. So now we have x squared minus x plus one half. I know this looks uncomfortable for a lot of beginners, but you have to get used to this. You just have to. You just have to. Okay. Half. Okay, the reason why I like, I prefer monic polynomials, they're just mentally easier. And so now we can go ahead and complete the square. Right, this is, that's not correct, it should be a half. Right, and then we had, we needed a plus one fourth, so minus one fourth. A half minus one fourth is one fourth. This is actually easier, a lot easier than I thought. Turns out that half is going to cancel out with this half, right? So turns out that we're just going to get, so this cancels out inverse tangent of x minus 1 half, and then divided by a half, in which is pretty much 2x minus 1. So our answer should just be the inverse tangent of 2x minus 1 plus e. Okay, if we check our answers, it's exactly what we got. All right, so do not get distracted by the beautiful, the beautiness, you know, a square plus a square. Don't get distracted. Don't let that distract you or intimidate you. Just complete the square, right? If you need to, you can just divide by two like me. Just have a monic polynomial and then complete the square. Okay? Alright, hope that helps, and I'll see you guys in the next video.